hello everyone welcome to the session in this demo we will create one application based on elk stack softwares to monitor the log of any java application this would be the flow of our application so we will have one log file java log file we will have a file wheat log stash software elastic search and kivana the log file will contains the log of the application java application file wheat will read the log data from the log file and will send to the log stash log stash will process that data apply some filter if any configured in the property file of log stash then log stash will send the data to the elastic search to store that log data and kivana kivana will show the data present in the elastic search so this would be the flow of our application what things we need we need to make this application first log file the log file of any java application file with software to collect the data from log file log stash software to process the data received from file wheat elastic search software to store the data received from log log stash and kivana software to show the data present in the elastic search so kivana would is basically the interface to the elastic search so it will show the data of elastic search so this is the complete pipeline basically for the demo purpose we are using version 6.8 of all above softwares so i already downloaded all the versions of these softwares which are of 6.8 so we need to prefer uh, all software we are using should have the same version so one important point those who have not watched my previous videos on elk stack all these in involved softwares we already discussed in, in our previous videos okay so this is the link i have given where i have explained how to download all these softwares necessary for to develop any elk stack application let me widget this this is the video you can go and check how to download elk softwares also this is the url of my playlist which contains all the elk stack related videos so it is also important to go through these previous videos to understand the complete application so this is the playlist of elk stack series so it contains the file wheat how file wheat works how log stash works how to install them so all these also the small small demos are present so it it is good to go through all these before proceeding with this please uh, go through this video and download all the required softwares it would be good if you go through the playlist so that because we will be using the same configuration which we already discussed in our previous videos same for the file wheat same for the log stash so let's uh, start our all four, four softwares these four softwares file wheat log stash elastic search and kivana so one by one i have launched the command prompt so this is for the kivana so you need to visit the kivana software which you would download in the local and visit go to the bin of that and launch the kivana.bat file enter then this is the elastic search elastic search dot bat you need to visit this path of elastic search present in your machine and then this is for the file wheat so you need to go to this path of your file wheat you need to go to this path of your file file wheat present in your system so let me show the folder structure of file wheat to avoid any confusion so this is the folder structure so you need to go to this path where all these details are present and you need to launch in the command prompt this path like i have done then what we need to we need to start our file wheat we will start our file wheat so let's write the command here 
फाइल वीट एक्सी आईफन माइनस ई माइनस सी एंड नेम ऑफ द फाइल वीट कन्फिगेशन फाइल दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द कन्फिगेशन फाइल वी आर यूजिंग एंड द दिस इज द सो दिस इज द कन्फिगेशन वी हैव डन सो दिस इज द कन्फिगेशन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो वी आर यूजिंग द सेम कन्फिगेशन सो लेट्स लॉन्च द फाइल बीट नाउ द लॉग स्टेस लॉग स्टेस टू लॉन्च द लॉग स्टेस यू कैन राइट लॉग स्टेस माइनस एफ एंड पाथ ऑफ द लॉग स्टेस कन्फिगेशन फाइल सो लेट मी विजिट द लॉग स्टेस सॉफ्टवेयर in you need to go to under configuration and the this is we are using i already created in my previous video so the same path we are using and i have already copied that here so that's why i was mentioning like please go through the previous videos in order to understand this very clearly so the path of our application so i press the enter and this is the actually log status configuration file i have already explained all these the how it works and so this is the configuration for to send the data to the elastic search so basically log status will send the data to the elastic search this is a port of the elastic search it would be the name of the index which will be created in the elastic search so that's why i was mentioning like please go through these videos in order to understand the whole elk stack very clearly okay let's see let's wait for all the software to be up and running so the file bit is started you can see server running at this this is the file bit console let me copy this here and i will run here this and also for the and also for the this let me start it so this is the console of elastic search it is started on 9200 let me open so yeah kivana is started you can see this is the console so let me open the kivana and see if it is working local host 9200 yeah you can see this is the response so it is up and running now let's see file bit file bit will see the starting input for this this is the configuration file yeah file bit is started let's see log status started server on 5045 so log status server is also started now all our four softwares are launched successfully so again i explain the flow so the file bit will read the data from the log file we will have some log data inside this log file which i already created so so this log file is in actually in a practical scenario or in the production environment this would be updated using some java application but for now uh, we have just created a sample log in this log file so the file bit will read the data from the log file and it will send it to the log status log status will process that data received from file bit if necessary or then it will apply some condition like filter criteria and other so here for this demo there is nothing present in the filter so it will be just like get from data from file bit and send to the elastic search so log status will send the data to the elastic search elastic search will basically store that data inside the index and kivana will fetch or show that data from the elastic search whatever configuration of file bit log status elastic search everything i already already explained in my previous video and we are using the same configuration here now we will see if data is flowing from log file to kivana log status will also show that data in the console and it will also send because in the configuration we have configured both the output standard output so to show the data in the console and to send the data to the elastic search 
and it would be name of the index in the elastic search if it is not present if it is present then it will be used so let's see yeah you can see our file it has scanned the data and it has sent to the log test and log test has printed data to the console in the console you can see this so means the the this flow we have seen now this is working till here fine file bit has read the data and sent it to the log test because this is the data being shown in the log test console means we got the data from the file bit and file bit read from the log file so it is fine now let's see if we got the data in the elastic search or not so let's see how many index go to the index management yeah you can see the test underscore index is present in the sorry log is test here yeah. so name of the it has created the name of the index is test underscore index and it was not create it was not present earlier and elastic set created this means this is clear how we can send the data to the elastic search how kivana will see that data or display that data so this is the flow now we will see what is present inside this so let's go to the index pattern in the index pattern basically used to display the data present in the index of the elastic search and here you can see it is showing one index and test underscore index right so now we need to give the pattern name right now i'm giving that exact name here and let's move on to the next and also the filter so that the, the time field present in the data so time is time there is a one time is time field present here if you see so these are the event actually these are the event we call this event it contains the log if you see where is the message this is the message so it, it contains the log of our application and these event will contains the date also time stamp so so whatever is present here it would be present in the elastic search and kivana will show the same so we will see there that also here you need to give the time is the field which you are using for the time let's create the index pattern based on this data the elastic search had created these field inside the document all this whatever field present in that and also some default field so these are the field present in the document we will see that so now our index pattern created now we will see how we can see that data so you need to click on the discover so it will display the data of elastic search present inside the index so this is the index pattern we already created and you can see this is the data so current so this this is the basically document so how many events we had one you can see three events first event second event and the third third event all three events is stored so corresponding to each event one document is created in the index in the elastic search which kivana shows here so there are three events which we have just seen and so three documents are created you can see let me so this is the basically json how the this is basically we call this as a document so this is the one document it contains the field and the value you can see the where is the message our message this is the message so this is the document so currently we have a three document one created for this line another created for this one for stack trace and two for these normal lines why created a one event for the stack trace because in the configuration we have mentioned this multi line configuration in the configuration we have mentioned multi line configuration so so that's why 
it has merged stack trace lines in the single event so you will, when you will see here this is our stack trace event you can see all these are coming in the single document because it was present in the you can see it was present in the single document yeah this is all these line present in the inside a single message so this is the one doc one event so if you want to mo read more on the multi line then please go visit my elk stack playlist i have already explained how to use the multi line configuration in the file bit session i have already explained how to use the multi line configuration and why to use when to use that's the purpose of this session that's the purpose of this session to show the data from the log file in the kivana so that we can see what is there now looking at the data we can understand now you don't have to go to the log file again and again to check the log just go through this check this and here you can see what is our data what is the log these are the field present here if you like you can search here exception exception it will show that data i have searched in so, so it will show the data which contains the exception field exception word so there is only one and we can check this this is the null pointer coming so this is how we can monitor the data first uh, the complete application of our elk series so in the coming session we will make this application more efficient we will do some improvement in this application to make it more efficient more useful for the production use but for this current for this particular session it was a only motto to show the data from the log file to the kivana and the integration should be complete so we have completed the all the integration of all the softwares in this session in the coming videos we will see some improvement in this in the coming videos we will see how we can create dashboard how we can visualize our data present in the elastic search with the help of uh, you know graphs chart the dashboard we will see so all these things we will see in our coming videos so this is all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video